Hi, Dads. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about when I gave birth. I could be your mother, I could be your grandmother, somewhere in between. So fathers were just being permitted to come into the births. Why? Because we wanted you there. We had been left alone to discover birth by ourselves, and we didn't have any skills to cope, and a lot of us suffered. And the word suffering in childbirth doesn't mean that there was a problem. It means that we didn't cope. And it's painful. Ugh. It's kind of like getting need, except that it comes in waves, and it can last for hours, and it gets more intense over time. So you need to get really real, just like the birthing fa better fathers who developed these skills got very real in the early 1970s. So we got really real. So in one of the earlier videos, I talked about statistics. It, when I gave birth in 1970, we followed doctor's orders. You can watch that video. And 95% of us gave birth vaginally. And this is where the natural birth movement doesn't understand what they mean by the word normal. So the response to it is, see, 95% of women can birth. Pregnancy and childbirth are normal life events. They don't need medical care. Was that real? Well, no, the medical profession hadn't developed the sophistication it did today. The obstetrical profession specialty developed in the 1950s in the United States in my lifetime. Yes, if you go back contextually, there's some recorded history of cesareans, there certainly is about brain surgery, but in the 1970, cesareans were done to save a woman's life. If you really want to investigate this, investigate, um, what is it, um, Williams Obstetrics, it's like 28 different editions. They'll tell you what they did beforehand. So when we gave birth, we could suffer or we could cope. We could have an easy birth or an incredibly challenging one. We could have a good outcome or a bad outcome. We could labor for hours or we could labor for days. So. The reality was that the 95% of us that gave birth and the 100% <clears throat> where there's no cesareans available, anything that could happen might happen, and it may have happened. And many women suffered. We totally lacked skills because there was a belief there's no way to know what your birth's going to be like, and so therefore there's really nothing you can do about it. And that's why you, as a man, were so important in the development of birthing better skills because you were coming into birth and you were going, I want to help her. And she's going, I want you to help. So we needed to develop very, very sophisticated skills. And you were then called a birth coach. So in the early 1970s, when there was a 4.5% cesarean rate, they did it to save a woman's life. And we had a scar from our pubic bone to our navel. And it was a general anesthetic. Now, if we had difficulty birthing vaginally, then we had an episiotomy. They cut our vagina, sometimes through the rectum, and sometimes then did a second one out laterally to the side. And they had us flat on our back, which people say is in a good position, but it keeps us very open and our feet up in stirrups. Try it, lie on your back, put your feet up in stirrups. Pretty open down there, aren't you? And they use forceps. So if there's a problem getting the baby out, they put a woman to sleep because it relaxed their muscles. So the medical profession knew very well that internal tension in women could obstruct a baby. And they would go inside her vagina and either go very high up through the bony pelvis with high forceps, or if the baby was in the pelvis, medium forceps, it was in the vagina, the vagina was tight, low line forceps. So that's what they did. And then we sutured up. And that's what was standard. So if women had easy births, some of them still had episiotomies. That was pretty much the standard and lay flat on our backs. And so we just didn't have choices, but that's what, what birth was like. So how did we get to the point now that this is 30 to 40% cesarean rate? We got to that point because my generation of women started wearing bikinis and we didn't want to be left with that ugly scar. So the medical profession responded to us and developed what's called bikini cut, or the low-line incision. And that's today why we have flat bellies after we've had cesareans. And one of the reasons is the cesarean rate has gone up. The other reason that the cesarean rate has gone up 
is that we as mothers and fathers didn't want to put our babies at risk. And while a breech baby is certainly a normal baby in a normal position, meaning that anything that could happen might happen, within that normal position, it can and might be an issue or a risk. And that issue or risk may or may not end up with a problem. And what we're going to teach you in this course is how to make space for the baby to come through the container, which is the mother's body, and how to prepare her birth canal so it opens up. So you need to understand that you have a lot of choices now we didn't have, but you lack skills. And we're going to talk about that in another video.